All right, uh, we're almost done our design here. Uh, as you can see, we've completed uh, our login page, our tutorial page, payment and map page, and we've even gone through our request and profile page and even added constraints for our design, which is great. So now we're ready to get into designing our last page here. Let's go ahead and just zoom into here and let's go ahead and open up our sketch that we had. So this page is super simple. Essentially, we just want to list uh, a bunch of services uh, or previous orders or requests that the user has made um, or even active ones. So if they have a laundry service actively running right now, we'd want to show this here as well uh, so that the user can see what um, the status of their laundry is. So as you can see here, we're going to place it in kind of a list format um, for all the services that they have. Uh, so let's go ahead here and just zoom in here and see what exactly we want to have in our um, in our list uh, over there. So we want the store name. We want a date and time where the request took place. We want the current status and then uh, a little price uh, text over here to show them how much they were charged. Um, and then we just want to have a little carrot icon here just to uh, allow them to uh, go into that request and maybe see more information about it uh, or maybe contact the store uh, or a bunch of other options that uh, you can add uh, for your own design. We won't get into that page in this course, but um, I will leave that as an exercise for you. So if you do want to go ahead and design a page uh, for them to see their request, uh, by all means, go ahead and do so. And you can even send it to me by email and I'll be happy to provide some feedback to you. Awesome. So let's switch back to our mock-up here and first thing I want to do is create a component for each of my list uh, items uh, and of course I think by now you know where we put our components it's in the components page here so let's go over there and let's go ahead and create a rectangle using the R tool and I'm just creating a rectangle first thing let's go ahead and give it a fill of white and actually let's go ahead and change the width to 375 I think that's the width of the iPhone size that we're working with here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, 375 by 812. So let's go back here. Let's do 375 and let's do um, 110 for the height here. I think that's good. We already have some text in here. So uh, as a designer, you always want to reuse components or reuse um, different elements in your design instead of creating new ones, uh, just because it saves a ton of time. So let's go ahead and just uh, select a couple things in here, like these uh, three uh, texts, uh, maybe even, yeah, I think that's good. And then use uh, Command C to copy it and then head on over to this rectangle here and paste that in here. Right now, this is not a component, so let's select everything in here and use Command Option K, and that makes it a component. And now we can dig in and move stuff around. So I think we can have the store name closer up here. Let's see what we had in our design. Yep, something similar. And we have a price and status. So let's do a price. Let's go ahead and move this here. Just give it some spacing for our carrot. And then let's go ahead and move this here instead and do a left align. Let's go ahead and align that over there. Let's see what kind of spacing we have. Let's do 15 by 15 here uh, in terms of the spacing from left and bottom. And then let's go ahead and just uh, do day, month, year. And then maybe do HHMM to represent uh, hours and minutes. I think that looks good. So let's go ahead and make sure this right here is centered uh, vertically. Perfect. And then I'm going to duplicate this text uh, using Command D. Right align it and then just move it all the way to where I have my dollar sign icon. Let's change the text to status. Cool. I think that's good. Uh, we just want to add our carrot uh, icon here. Um, the easiest way to do that is to draw an arrow line. So I'm going to do shift L uh, as a shortcut, create a line here. Let's zoom in. 
go ahead and double click into here and just take this end of the line and bring it all the way here. So we just have a nice carrot icon here. I'm going to use done here to get out of there. I'm just going to zoom out and then bring my carrot over here, make it a little bit bigger. Maybe do a thickness of two, maybe two and a half. I think that's good. And then I want to make sure that I place it right in the center. And then let's change the stroke color to, I can't really see that here. Um, that works. Let's go ahead and rename this component service list. And let's head on over to our mockups now and insert that component by going to assets. Now we see right here we have a service list. Let's go ahead and drag that in. So already I can tell I want to make a couple changes to it. I think we can make it a little bit smaller and then let's go ahead and add a divider as well so we can kind of uh, see the next see the next option in the list and differentiate between them. So I'm just going to quickly go back into components. Let's select the whole component and make it 95 pixels in height. And then I'm going to bring my store name few pixels down and then maybe align these here instead and these ones as well and then really bring them a few pixels down and then go ahead and put this one in the center again I think this will work so let's go ahead and draw a line Make sure to keep it straight using shift and have it stretch all the way. Use stroke color. Let's use control C and go ahead and just select that color from the carrot. And then maybe make, uh, maybe we can make it a little bit lighter. We want it to be subtle. I think that's good. Let's go ahead and just select it and bring it uh, all the way down. Just one pixel at the bottom. Okay. I think we have that right here. So now if we go to mockups, I think that looks better. We can just go ahead and use alt to bring that down and then hit command D a bunch of times just to see how that would look like. I think this works.